Connor, goal of straw here against Scunthorpe yeah. United. Thoughts on that? Frustrating, really. Um, overall, uh, probably felt we, we should have won the game. However, we, we weren't clinical enough, and, and you know, today that it showed. We were frustrated a little bit by the way they came and played, obviously, right at the bottom, and still sort of up until today fighting for their lives, really. Yeah, you could say you could say that, and you could see that. Um, you know, they had a, a game plan, and you know, and that was to to maybe make it difficult for us. And, and today they got the the point that they needed. What did we say going into this? What was our plan? Did we want to get on the front foot straight away? Were we perhaps not able to do that in, that, in many ways, with respects to what you just said? I think we, you know, we went into the game with a positive mindset and felt that we could um, affect them in different ways. Uh, Overall, I would say that we were better the team and created the better overall chances and general play. Um, but again, it's, it's not always as straightforward. They defended well today with a lot of bodies behind the ball and, and we didn't manage to get that, that final third entry or we weren't clinical enough, really. So yeah. How frustrating is it at the minute? You say on Tuesday we play well, we still come out, you know, <coughs> losing today. We perhaps don't take our chances. We don't, we're not clinical enough in the final third, and we still don't manage to, to win these games on the street that we're on at the moment. That must be frustrating to see. Yeah, it is because of, of where we were in terms of the unbeaten running and scoring goals, and, and looking that we're going to score more. We're just going through a period of time now where uh, we're not managing to find the net, um, you know, and looking at times. But again, these are areas that we we feel that we can improve on. What's for us now in terms of do we know where we need to improve and how we, we, we mean to improve that? We've obviously got only got one game left now, but is there a clear plan, plan for this week ahead heading into that game and beyond? Yeah, um, a lot of it as, as well is uh, individualism with players and, and them you know, winning their 1v1s and, and able to, to beat the man and putting good crosses and, and them attacking that. I mean, being more aggressive with the forward runs, etc., to get in the box. Um, so these are all things that we can improve as, as well as a, a big transfer window at the end of the season to, to try and bring in players as well who are going to give us more goals for the team. Positives, personnel-wise, another 90 for Callum Cook and Lee Novak starting these first games since before the new year as well. It must be pleasing to see. Yeah, delighted. Um, obviously, Callum's played a few games now and he's he's come through with, with no sort of reoccurrence of the injury. So at this moment in time, it's really positive. And for Lee as well um, to play, you know, after what was a knee surgery, and, and I'm not sure how the severity of it, but um, he got back quicker than we thought, and, and he's managed to play around 70 minutes today, so um, that's great news. Today, obviously, our annual memorial fixture, remembering those who we lost in 1985. How important, how significant was that today that we paid our respects in the right way? Yeah, it was huge. Um, as a club, you know, everybody knew the seriousness and the, the overall heritage of it all and, and it was nice to play a part even though it would be even nicer to get fans in here paying their respects as well. We speak about Morecambe, one game left next week, what's the plan heading into that? How do we approach it? It's the first time we've had a week off properly in a while I guess. Yeah, I think on the training field we, we work on areas that we feel needs the most work. Um, so that would obviously be attacking play and, and we hope to try and see a transfer from the train into the game on, on Saturday. It also gives us a chance to um, rotate and maybe look at players that we've not seen so much of recently.